So we're here today. Um, let's look at strings. Now, we open our uh, scratch, and if you have your scratch there, open it, open it up. And um, here we come to, we have all the blocks here, the blocks of code, and then we come to this one saying operators. Okay, so we come to operators, and, um, and then we see these uh, group of operators here at the tail end of uh, this block, or the green, the green blocks here, this green block. So we come at the tail end here. Let's just pull um, the list right here. So we pull, we pull, we pull. So we have about four of them. So um, that's what we got. And let's make it bigger so we can all see this clearly. All right, here we go. So strings, what are strings? So groups of characters together like, okay, like your name, like Apple, like banana. You have Apple has five um, letters, you know, consecutively. So in that order, so a P cannot come before the A. So it goes in that order. So it is numbered. So the first one is, 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 is A, the first, uh, second letter is P, then the third is another P, the fourth is an L, then an E. Okay, you can, I can get my name in there, Nelly. So that's a string. Now, another thing, like I can get A and then two and then B, three, four, five, six, seven, like that. And you see numbers are also characters. So they're part of strings. Now, or I can totally just bamboozle you with, um, you see, this different strange, yeah, but they all have names there, huh? okay? Yeah, these are uh, the at sign, this is the uh, hashtag, the dollar sign, the percentage, and, and, and so forth. So um, these are all characters, all right? And then let's say we, we want to input some Chinese in there, and um, we're going to get some Chinese uh, characters also in there. Uh, Ni hao ma. Mm, ni hao ma. Is that hello in Chinese? So those are the characters for Ni hao ma in Chinese. And want to get Russian uh, uh, alphabet in there, or Korean alphabet, or Japanese characters, and and so forth and so forth. So these are all the strings of characters. Uh, the characters. So you, you get like more than one, two, three, four, like that in in that order, uh, where the order is very important. So those are strings of characters, and we can manipulate them here on Scratch. Um, Oh, let's check, check this out. So we can join them together. If I do that, you see, it joins this first string and my A, 2, B, 4, 5, 6, 7. So there we go. We can join strings together. And this is very handy because what we can do with this is like uh, pretty quick. We can ask the computer to tell us the date of today. So we use another join and let's get that um, empty here, that. And then we bring this join and keep it onto that one. And then one more join uh let's get that empty here let's get that empty you guys see this is interesting i can get it and line it up like that so now i'm having four join i think i need one more hmm yep let's go with one more you guys will see where i'm going with this uh sorry come here and uh, empty the another join and uh, the last join okay so what i'm gonna do with this is this so uh, bear with me here I'm gonna go to the computer where it can sense the date. So I go to this string of characters called sensing. And then here we can get like what? We can get what it says here. It says, um, where are we? Okay, current, current here. So we can get a current date. All right, we got a current date. We get that in here. And then here we have a, oh, that, that's a forward uh, slash, all right? And then here we take another one. Um, come right here, we have the current month, okay? Okay, now I like to do month before day so I can get my month first before my day. And we get that a little small so we can see. And then I get the last thread. And then here we get the current year. And now see, when we click this, it will join all this together. See, current month as a variable. And then we have our slash. And then we got the current date. And so it's May. Today is May 9th, 2021. You see all that. And then if we if we can get our sprite this oh our cat right here to say all that then we're just gonna get like um come on when uh is click and then we get we go to looks and we get uh say say that say the the date and then we just get all that in there and see when it's click it says the date so and that is great that's just what we want exactly so that's how we can work with uh strings Right there, we use our join to join things in format. So don't just look at a join like that and ask yourself like, oh, what can I really do with the join? I, I see the join here, but what can I do with it? Can I just add apples and bananas like that? So this is just one example of what we can do with that. And then next up here, we have um, 
we can ask ourselves, uh, what is the first letter of apple? See, it says A. Now we can change that one here. What's the second letter of apple? It says B. P. What's the fifth letter of apple? It says E. And if we say, what is the sixth? We don't have a sixth letter of apple, okay? And then here, if we say, what is the zero letter of apple? We don't have it, it's empty. Because uh, the strings, our strings here, they start to number them the first exactly as you would do in English. But in other programming languages, um, they increment, they start from zero. <laughs> Why do they do that? I think it's just a ruse, um, just so um, only the uh, programmers or computer programmers will understand that, so that the rest of us, you know, computer programmers like you will understand that, so that the rest of us will look like a little bit, you know, under them. They look smarter than the rest of us, so um, that's just a ruse. Um, but I, I, I think uh, this, 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 yeah, uh, our, our list or um, our string of characters, they all start from, from one, okay? So just, just the way you will count, count it, letter one, letter two, letter three, letter four, or character one, because it's not just limited to letters, okay? Um, here, just check, check this out. So we can also ask, what's the length of that letter? So if we write here, um, let's write Cameroon. Woohoo, I'm missing a leg of Cameroon. Okay, uh, my Chinese, uh, uh, Chinese input there. So Cameroon and we go bam. How many letters? Eight. Oh, bam. Hmm, if you ask me offhand, I wouldn't I would I wouldn't know it's eight. But the computer calculates that for me. Let's say Nigeria and um bam seven. Hmm, Cameroon eight, Nigeria seven, and let's go Ghana. Ooh, Ghana and whoo, that's five. And let's go America. And that's what? That's seven. And let's go England. Is that seven two? Seven. Okay, so uh, some of the little things we can do, and then uh, last but not the least, um, we can ask if um, America contains an A, if there's an A in America, and it's going to say true, because look at this shape, this is a Boolean, a Boolean can just answer the question true or false, it's just two answers. Now, if you say America contains P, if there's letter P in the word America, and it says false. And you say, oh, teacher, uh, but I'm seeing the America here, so I can answer the question, why is the computer telling me that? I'll be like, okay, let's check this out. Uh, we can go to variables pretty fast, and then we create, we make a variable, and we call it a string, a string. Mm, or oh, we say a country, good, we say a country, name of country, so we call that country. Now, in variables, like give them a really good name, uh, it says uh, to just say say what it means. So next time you come, it all makes sense later on, okay? If you, your variable name doesn't really make sense, uh, after a while, you, you get confused. So now let's set our variable, our country, okay? So let's set our country, is there? Set country, see here? Set country to, um, hmm, let's say China. And then down here, who? what do we get? What do we have? We ask if country. So now we get our country here and dump it inside here. Country, does it contain? So set, that is set. Does it contain P? And then now it makes sense because maybe this guy is setting this thing in China and you are in Cameroon or you are somewhere else and then you need to know if there is P in the name of that country so that you can guess. You go false, there's no P. You ask your next question, is there a C there? Go true so you get countries like colombia like chad like uh oh there's no there's no see chad starts with tc all the sea yeah. and they go like cameroon cameras you get all the canada all the sea and you can guess and then you go okay does it contain an a okay if it contains an a then you eliminate if it contains an a true and then you you say okay china is a go cameroon is a go canada is a go but what about Comoros? Comoros is not a go because it's no A in Comoros. So you eliminate Comoros, even though it has a C, but it doesn't have an O. So you see, you can use it like a guessing game to guess names of, names of countries by asking if they contain different kind, different uh, characters. And now you can now start to narrow down your answer until you can figure it out. Okay, so that's what we can do with these characters. I like many, many more. Um, next off, we'll come to learn how to spell our names, get a computer to spell our names for us. Right, so I will see you in the next class and it's been fun time, scratch, crash course with Nelly D. Peace out. Okay. See you next class. Thank you.